Hey everybody, welcome back. TV Ben Podcast, episode seven. Big day today. Uh, also want to thank everybody that has supported us so far and will continue to up through this moment and beyond. We have a big guest today. We have Craig from Hurry big. Up Pinball. Big. He's talking about my head. No. It might be my hair. I don't no. know. We'll see. No. So Craig has a, a channel on Twitch and YouTube, Hurry Up Pinball. Beautiful channel. Uh, just the the camera work, everything. It's, it's real high quality stuff. It's nothing like the crap you've seen me put on my channel before. And you know, I've always, but my problem, I always tried to do it so cheap. And then I kept realizing like, I, you know, spent another 200 bucks here and another 200 bucks yeah. here. So, but yeah, your stuff is just, it's, it's really nice. Just the, the whole look, the lighting, everything. It's, it's yeah. like professional. Like, yeah. When I, um, when I first started <clears throat> doing it, um, you know, I, I, I learn by doing that's, that's the way I've always been, you know, somebody can give me a manual and tell me how to do it, but I learn by doing so with pinball. It's when I got into it, learning all these different things. And one of the things I thought was, Hey, I'm learning the, this stuff. I have some friends that are new to pinball, have no idea other than taking the glass off they have no idea what's going on yeah so it just got me thinking like you know i'm why don't i put together some videos and i looked at what's out there i've done a lot of research on problems and i found stuff on youtube but the thing that really stuck with me was nobody's really making these videos with really good lighting um, sometimes the sound is it's it's hard to hear what's going on so you were on. you were comparing them to my videos right <laughs> Like, no, hey, not no, that that guy. No, not 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 yours. <laughs> um, but yeah, I realize you know there's a there's some some folks out there. I wanted to do it really simple too. Yeah, I go through each little step. Sometimes I'm doing the voiceovers, and I tell myself if I was doing this for the first time, how would I want to hear it? So as I'm putting this together, that's what I'm thinking about. Yeah. So it just kind of came together. I used to do wedding videos for friends back in high school. Oh. So that's really where I got started doing it. It was always fun. We surfed, we did a bunch of stuff. So I was always mm -hmm. a kid chasing everyone around with the camera and editing stuff. I had editing software back when nobody had editing software. You know, it, whenever... We've got more in common than we probably... Yeah, I know. We, yeah, <laughs> there's a lot we, there. we got a lot of stories to trade about yeah. stuff, I have a feeling. Um, <laughs> But yeah, it was, so I started putting together these videos and, you know, I started getting some feedback, you know, in the comment section, like, thank you so much for doing this. I'm new to pinball. And that's really what I started making these videos for. Uh, you know, it's a balancing act. Sometimes I have people asking me, I told you last, last week is two weeks ago, maybe, uh, somebody asked me to do a lamp matrix video and oh. it, pretty complicated. But I actually, know, I had somebody ask me that too. I had done a repair video on something and they said, yeah. could you go through and show how a lamp matrix works and a switch matrix? And I was like, I get it. I that's... get it. But trying to <clears throat> put it together in a way that somebody can digest it is really tough. And I'm not yeah. going to make that video <clears throat> until I can show it to somebody and be like, that makes sense to me now. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I was just trying to do a bunch of different stuff. Um, and then I realized doing so much with the tutorials and i took on some pin projects that really kind of wore me out i had a lot of three four in the morning Oof. nights doing play field swaps and rebuilding painting cabinets and stuff and then i realized i'm not playing pinball anymore yeah that's why i got into this so no i've had that before too it's like yeah. what am i doing here i've, I've transitioned life. into not playing into yeah. I'm, yeah I'm spending like two hours on 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 Marco website looking for parts, you know, like, <laughs> like, Oh, I need this special switch. What's the part? Yeah. Number? Let you me got the, the scribbles manual. from like yeah. when I was out in the garage of, Oh, I need this part number and this part number. And Oh, yeah. see and if it, they got this, they don't. And it builds on itself. It just keeps, yeah. it keeps going. And then I finish a project. And I'm like, well, I gotta have something else to work on. And then I just started working on pins and not playing. So, uh, you know, it's like an evolution. We need to probably walk through an evolution of pinball ownership. It's, you know, you start with the playing and then oh, yeah. you, you evolve a little bit into working on them. And then you, you're like, well, why am I working on them all the time? I bought them to play them. And then you move back into that. It's like a, it's a circle. Yeah. And somebody yeah. needs to, somebody needs to write that down and figure that out. But yeah, yeah your stuff, yeah, like I said, uh, fantastic. But what I meant to ask you, um, the music that you use in the beginning, it's like Harry Potter esque. Like, where did you get that? Did you do it or did you buy <laughs> no, it? Or no, no, that's I like Adobe, it. That's an Adobe Premiere special. Oh, okay. <laughs> so okay. Um, you know, funny note on that. So as I'm putting this videos together, <clears throat> some people who who keep up with my channel will notice I took down all my videos. And did we talk about this? No, Troy was telling yeah. me you had had discussed something about it, but he wasn't sure. I had like details. 35 videos up. Yeah. So I'm because of an incident that happened with work and a copyrighted image and something happened unrelated to what I, anything that I did. Yeah. But I found out about this 
and basically we ended up going through this process of like, hey, you guys didn't own this image, so you got to pay us. Oh. So it got me thinking. Um, the stuff in Premiere, it's free to use, the music. It's yeah. The Harry Potter music. Yeah. Um, I really like it. It's fun. Is it's it called like, Harry Potter music? No, or? Uh, magical, magical something. Oh, okay. I'll, so I'll it's, get it to you. It's Harry Potter. It's magic. Yeah. Well, I, I have Premiere, so it's part of the yeah, Adobe this, Library yeah. option. Okay. Magic, I think it's called Magic School. Well, I'm not going to use it. Oh, you can use <laughs> I'm gonna it. It's, it's magic. Actually, I'm going to use it on the intro for you. We're going to oh, tie your channel together perfect. with mine. Um, yeah, so uh, I had an issue there where I realized one of the issues that I took for the background, I yeah. thought it was free to use, and I did some serious digging based upon what happened at work, and yeah. I realized somebody owned it. Mm. So I realized right away, hey, this is I'm small potatoes. Realistically, yeah. it might not be an issue for anybody. Well, but... was it worth not trying to just pay them outright for use? Or uh, I don't know. I started all. having a lot of videos, so I just decided, you know what? Yeah. I don't want any <clears throat> any issues with this. I went through took my own pictures, did my own thing, put up new videos. So again, I started to feel like this has always been like a passion thing for me. It's for fun. Yeah. And I'm like, oh man, business is creeping into this. Business is creeping in. So it was three days. It took me three days to edit <laughs> oh. all those videos to oh. just change those images. Now, do you, if you re-upload a video, does it, uh, does it reset the play counts or views? Do you, you count your yeah. views? So I you had do. a lot of views on a couple of those videos and I was really pumped about hmm. that. And I, I had was wondering to, about that. I had to make a decision to let it go. YouTube will not let you upload a new video under the same, uh, extension or, or okay. address. You have to put a new one up. I looked everywhere. I'm like, yeah. there's gotta be a way around this. this. Sneaky, there's yeah. no way around it. Oh, well, that stinks. So, so yeah. Well, but now you're Keep subscribers though. It's yeah, always a good. Thing. You're in the clear, and yes, we'll uh, we will have links for your channel, for Twitch, and for YouTube. Uh, hopefully, we can get a little good cross promotion here. Yeah. They can appreciate your videos and then feel sorry for me if they come over to watch the <laughs> podcast or anything. I like, well, at I'm least he tried. Your videos. I love I love the way you put them together. The intro, I appreciate all that stuff. There's a lot of work that goes into. Well, the it. intro. Uh, so my buddy. Uh, did the music for me uh he's he's been doing band stuff since high school nice. and i said hey you know obviously big metallica fan i think i've told everybody this a million times but i said i want something more uh you know and justice for all era type yeah. and he's like i can i can do something like that so what he ended nice. up with it was more of a silver chair metallica blend and it silver was silver chair i haven't heard that in yeah, a long time yeah silver chair. so he 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 went home and did something for me and he's like what do you think i was like perfect i said it's got that you know yeah. so and it's, it's yours that's what's awesome about yeah. it it's like nobody else has it oh he wanted uh, uh, no he wanted 20 grand school. for the use of it now he's <laughs> yeah, he's figured out perfect. i've gotten some <laughs> some mild success out of youtube yeah but, perfect yeah so no he's getting nothing no he we gets his name much in out the, of the checks that are coming in <clears throat> well he gets his name in the credits on the on the other videos he does oh, so that's fine yeah it's always just it. me i don't have to credit anybody except <clears throat> unless when my wife comes into the room and insults me in the middle of it. oh yeah those or are my nice. daughter comes in and yells at me for putting the tools on the couch she's like you don't do that yeah it's like fine I'm like you want to be in the video <laughs> <laughs> well you're gonna have to yeah if you start hitting it big you'll have to like give them a share right <laughs> oh and no they'll come around they'll come around if we yeah. hit it big yeah well that's how it works yeah that's true <laughs> i don't i think i did a test yesterday the jurassic park is behind me with that's yes. the new addition since the last time we shot in this room so but the fan's running on it but i don't oh, yeah. think you can hear it so i can hear mm. it I did a test yeah. yesterday while it was running and I didn't it didn't show up. You know, so. that's one of those little things <clears throat> where it's like that's a small cost. That's a small cost to yeah. put the quieter fan in. Sixteen know? bucks, but I, I don't want to But do Stern it. should do it. Stern yeah, they should, should absolutely put in the quieter fans. Not yeah. Me. <laughs> well I've got a quieter fan. I mentioned it uh when I was working on this the other day. Uh Stranger Things has the quieter uh, fan. But Stranger Things is sitting in an arcade that's not open, so I don't know. You know what? I, I can babysit that it. for you. I'm happy oh, no, to it's babysit fine. that It's for fine you. right where it is. Uh, you can be bored with other games than that one. That's the one my kids my kids like the show, but I'm not supposed to, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, that Just was the, uh, the joke video. Yeah, the, the, <laughs> yeah the, that was excellent, by the way. Oh, thank you. That was, uh, that was a fun 30-minute afternoon of just... Uh, and that was all non-scripted. I was just that was, that was talking. All, that non-scripted? Yeah. 
that's good. Yeah, that was See, just I'd me be, talking. I'd be bumbling over it. I, I got to write <laughs> stuff down when I do my. No, I mean I, <clears throat> I had a couple ideas in my head, but it was still yeah, that was all yeah. yeah the that kids, was funny. The show I, your kids I love, love but is actually terrible. Yeah. You know, and doing yeah. the dumb Here's announcer. Here's all the great beers that you can't have. Right you now. <laughs> can't have any. So what I was telling them, uh, I actually told uh, Troy and Heather this past week. So it, it ended up, I figured out what that video came. So if anybody doesn't know what we're talking about, the basement arcade in Concord, I made a parody video, uh, joking about you couldn't go to it. It was an anti-advertisement basic video. Uh, it was all in fun. I made fun of the governor. Very well yeah. done. It was, uh, let's not get crazy. But what I ended up doing, it was a rip off of South Park. That's what it ended up being. There was a South Park episode where Cartman got a million dollars and he, bought an amusement park and he made a video oh yeah of, you All can't go you can't come here yeah I remember that check now. out the water slide yep. ah you can't go yep. especially stan and kyle <laughs> yeah stan and kyle so that's where it came from and i yeah. because i thought of it and i was like where did this come from so that's actually the inspiration that's for that great. video i, love, I yeah. love south park i'm a big south park oh, fan except for the game the game's terrible oh which there are two of them i don't even know if we can say the name on air <laughs> oh no not those not the uh, no not oh, the console the pinball. the pinball the pinballs I, I may or may not have owned that pinball machine i did i had it at the arcade it printed money oh yeah when i could keep it running yeah. but it was people loved it I, I just love i had it for a long my wife misses it really i, had it, I played through it uh, yeah. i played through it and i'm like okay i'm kind of ready to move on now but mm. you know what every time mr hanky came out yeah everybody just gets happy i mean i'm I, I think on location, I'm going to put oh, money in this hilarious. machine to watch a talking turd come out of it. <laughs> yeah, it, it's a, a hilarious game, but it, yeah. it is a quick, you know, you're done with it. Uh, did you ever play the, uh, okay. yeah, thank you, Mr. <laughs> uh, crap, not Garrison. What's uh, the guidance Mr. counselor? Mackie. Mackie, thank you. I just oh, yeah. lost my mind. South Park's coming back. It's, I haven't seen it in about a year, but they're coming yeah. back at the end of the month. Yeah. Uh, did you ever play the video mode in the prototype ROMs? I don't want to say what that mode was called. Uh, uh, not we're not this. allowed to talk about that. It's well, it's typical South Park. Uh, oh, perfect! No, yeah. I haven't. Okay, we'll talk about. Remind we'll me. Talk but about it yeah, later, there was right? prototype ROMs with a video mode oh, in it. Oh, I can only imagine. Yeah. And actually, I, I had the I had the ROMs. I think I still have those ROMs. I don't think I uh -huh. sold them with it because that's another story. Anyway, so what we we're talking about the basement already. So that's actually. The connection that started you met troy and then uh i think i met you the day what with wonka when i came down there yeah okay yeah you you just got in wonka and i think the the day i met you um i was in there playing i was super pumped yeah uh, wonka <laughs> is the first place that had wonka and i'm like i want to play right. this game i, I got that thing out there for people you did and I, I came in there and i was playing i put a couple quarters into it and then i noticed the um the slingshot band had snapped was it slingshot or was it i thought it was flipper rubber no it was a sling uh i no, thought it was, it was, was it i don't know whatever it was one of them <laughs> it yeah. was one of something them. broke and having <clears throat> owned pinballs and knowing what can happen i'm like the last thing i wanted was somebody to come up to this thing and start playing it or put money in it and start banging around on the flippers with something yes. broken and so i couldn't I be more appreciative yeah and and it's funny because yeah i'm like this is not my machine i just shut it off i'm no, like no you did the right pissed. thing but you did the yeah, right thing. So, and I went over and told the, the lady working there. I said, hey, it's flippers broke. I shut it yeah. off so nobody plays it. And uh, I said, hey, if you've got one, I'll go ahead. I'll, I'll swap it for yeah. you. She's like, oh, it's Ben's machine. I'll just let Ben know. So, yeah, get him down here. And you came in and then. That's, yeah, that's I got down I there. I think within the hour, I was doing something oh, around we here, goofing quick. around. But yeah, I'm only like five, six minutes, depending on if I hit that one traffic light on the way yeah. over there. But yeah, I got down there and then met you. And I was like, man, I think I even put a couple uh, credits on there for you. I was yeah. like, play it. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm glad yeah. you came down. But Sweet's a good day. Yeah. Okay, I got but, some free games. And, and you know, you were you you get the fact that that stuff happens. Oh. It's it, it randomly will just happen. You'll you know, I've put brand new rubbers on a game at the at the arcade and they've broke within a week. It just depends oh, yeah. um but yeah no it was really neat that you <laughs> knew well enough to shut that thing off and not cause damage or because yeah. you never know just from owning them i know what happens when, yeah. when that kind of stuff happens and you don't take care <clears throat> of it you know if like it doesn't get fixed somebody's gonna walk up drop quarters in it Next oh yeah you know you're gonna scratch something's gonna get scratched something's gonna get broken well um, and reputation wise as well for for a business you know you don't want to be that business that has the oh their games are always dirty and yeah. broken and everything oh, you want to be one thing that always bothers yeah me. I, you want to be responsive a, yeah when you have a lot of machines i get it you know i 
I think at one point I had seven machines in my collection. Yeah. And I'm like, I would just spend the whole day cleaning everything. And I'm like, oh, I need to replace this. Oh, I didn't see that. But I imagine some of these places that have 20, 30, 40 games. Yeah. It's hard to keep them all like that. And when people don't say anything or don't know, um, stuff stuff can go for a while without being. Yeah. And that's why you got to gotta get in there and, and look around. And, you know, if you get friendly with the, uh, you know, the regulars that come in, yeah. you'll, I've had, uh, you know, more than one, they'll, they'll text me directly. Hey this happened on this game and yeah. i'm like oh cool let me and yeah I've had that a few times but yeah it's it's there's a lot going on depending you know especially what we talk earlier i've got nine or ten in here which gets a little daunting every now and then and yeah. oh and one on the way one i told way. you don't tell it's a uh, it's a <laughs> secret right. but not it's telling. the money has left but the game has not left that's such a great feeling is when the money's gone you don't have it yet yeah it's like yeah it's in limbo (laughs) who knows there's a lot of money floating around out there but yeah more to come on that in the future uh but so you made a very nice list of topics to discuss uh so you know we talked about meeting uh at the basement so you had what was your intro into pinball what what got you so started I think a long, a very long time ago, I, I was I was exposed to pinball when I was probably like eight or nine years old. That almost sounds and dirty. I know, doesn't <laughs> like, it? I said I it and I knew it. Pinball. I was exposed to pinball. I went into this oh, back room God, and how this did machine you? lit up. And, um, That's hilarious. Safe space. Um, <laughs> so lots of counseling, and yeah, then yeah, you're yeah, okay now. I'm better, better, yeah. better. I'm getting there. Um, yeah, so uh, I I played a little bit as a kid. I was always into arcade games. Uh, you know, Pac Man, your classics, your Pac Man, your Frogger. Well, I think arcade sort of stuff's stuff. the gateway drug, right? Yeah, that seems it's to the be gateway the thing. Drug. Yeah. yeah, even getting into pinball, I started with arcades. Yeah. Um, but I started out uh, playing. I think the first game I ever played was probably an Adams Family. Okay. I think I played Adams Family and uh, Rocky and Bowwinkle were the it's two. Not a bad game. It really yeah, isn't. I need to go back and play it. I haven't yeah. played it in thirty years, but. I played one a couple years ago. Yeah, it's it's not that bad. Yeah, I see them pop up, and they, you know the prices on them are pretty good, which leads me to believe, hey, there's yeah. people out there want to play affordable. this. It's affordable. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the, I I played those two games. I went a very long time. Got into consoles as a kid. Uh, a lot of video games. Your Mario's. You know your Sega Master System. I'm like the only person that yeah. had the Sega Master System. And oh, you Fantasy were that kid. Star. I was that kid. Yeah. I'm like <clears throat> I don't want to play Duck Hunt. I yeah. want to play Jungle Safari. Yeah. Or, or you were that one called. kid. Everybody came over just to see it. They're like, oh, yeah, they're like what is this thing? It doesn't yeah. look like the Nintendo. I remember my buddy had a Game Gear. Uh, the portable. Oh yeah, and I. But I it, it, that was actually really cool too. But Game Gear would play. Was the, Game Gear color? Was it one of the yeah, first color? Ones? It was color. It oh, yeah. killed batteries, right but yeah. that would play the Master System games, I think. Yeah. In it, right? But yeah. So you were, you know, early Sega console. Huh? Yeah, early Sega That's console. And, interesting. And uh, then Nintendo went through the whole oh, thing, yeah. but uh, eventually. Uh, I always, I always liked the arcades. Our, arcades always resonated with me. There's just, a magic in the old, you know, '80s, '90s yeah. arcade. Like you just felt something when you walked I'll in. I'll tell there. you what, it's not, it's not magic when you're lifting that 200 pound CRT television out of an arcade machine no. to fix the boards. No, but, or you know, just working on it. Yeah, yeah. They, um, but yeah. So I, I, I was always into the arcade games, and then when I, and this is a funny story, how I got into pinball. So. I, I went to a relative's house out in Arizona. We went, did a family trip and in his garage, he had a fishtails and he's always telling me about this fishtails game that he loved. So I have a soft spot for fishtails. I want, I want to get one, you know, I want, I've had two. I'm, I'm just, yeah. I don't know if it's going to be like mm. diner where I get it. I really want to get it. I fix it up and then I'm like, okay, I'm over it. Uh, yeah. It's well, and uh, like we've said, and we will continue to say yeah. to each his own. Right. For me. Yeah. Uh, it's fun. Like I, if I could go play one real quick, I'd be good again for another year. Yeah. It's, but it doesn't, I'm learning that as I get, yeah. Move machines in and out. You well, know, and it's the typical Mark Ritchie. He loves that crisscross ramp thing. You know, same thing from Taxi and everything. Yeah. And, and but yeah, you know, he did Indiana Jones. Great stuff. Yeah, but that it's an awesome one, game. yeah, Fishtails doesn't hold my attention yeah. long. But so we we ended up playing as fish. So we had a couple beers, and then wait, we, were you old enough? Yeah. I, or was I this so. part of the this abuse? This is not in the back room. <laughs> this is not in the back room. I was talking about hey, when kid, I was exposed you want some to some beers. <laughs> <laughs> so we um <clears throat> so we're playing pinball, we're drinking some beers having a good time and i'm like look i've always wanted a pinball machine but 
you know, I'm just worried like something's going to break and I can't fix it. And he just told me, you <laughs> yeah, know, it's like, he, he said, Hey, you're, you're a smart guy. And yeah. you can, you've done other things. I've seen you do other things. This will not be a problem. Yeah. You know? So he's like, don't, don't put off buying a machine cause you think you can't work on it. So he's like, yeah, maybe he's right. And then we finished that. And then after having a couple beers, we uh, jumped on some vintage Schwinn's. Oh, like old school, like, like apple the, crates, like and, the beach bike, yeah. no gear type yeah, thing. Yeah, this this one had a, a light, whereas you pedal it runs a light and it has a shifter. Oh, so like you, it's got a generator, school, like seventies <clears throat> Schwins. So we start. Yeah. It's just a beautiful night, you know, feeling really good. Played pinball all night and then cruise around the neighborhood. Awesome memory, it was a great yeah. day. So after that, uh, we were living in California at the time and I, out there about fifteen years. Uh, so what ended up happening was we were moving. I knew we were moving back to North Carolina and, uh, I raced road bikes. Okay. Um, so, uh, road bicycles, I should say bicycles. I say bikes and everybody yeah. thinks motorcycles. Yeah, like, like, no, yeah. spandex, tights, nope. <clears throat> bicycles. No, the guys um, that you have to pass on the side of the yeah, road. Yeah. That everybody gets mad at. Yeah. No, my so, wife's into that too. So I know the hatred that they uh, get. I always thought that road bikes would be yeah. the most expensive hobby I'd ever get into. Oh, that's basically free. For a spinball <laughs> yeah. machine. So when I lived in California, I knew we were going to move. Yeah. There's bike lanes everywhere. A lot of safe places to ride. Not a lot of here. great mountains. No, there's no bike lanes here. Mm. There's lots of 18 wheelers, big trucks. Yeah. So I knew I was just at that point having kids and getting older that, you know, I'm probably not going to ride like I used to. So I sold my bike and I did probably the most uh, unhealthy thing I could do. I sold a bike that I rode five times a week and kept me in really good shape. Yeah. And I bought an Adams Family pinball machine. Hey, good call. Well, you're in far better shape than uh, <laughs> than I can dream of at the moment for myself. So you're already uh, mm. you're doing okay. You know, I have to have the uh, large my back man's tells chair. me otherwise. Well, I was gonna say I have to have the large support man's chair to be able to uh, do the podcast now. It, <laughs> you know, to support my carriage. But so Adams Family was the first. Adams was the first. That's um, a that's not and, a bad first. And you know what's. Yeah, it was it was the it was one I always remembered from from being from being a kid. Yeah, way overpaid for it. I'll put it that way. I, it's your classic yeah. bad story. Yeah. eBay. I'm gonna oh, go on eBay. eBay. I'm gonna buy my oh, first no. pinball machine on eBay. Well, wait, what year is this that this happened? Uh, this is 2017. Okay, so so I will tell you what I paid for that machine, and you tell me. Do you want me to beep it? Price. You want me to beep it on the <laughs> like you tell me, but we won't let everybody else know or something. <laughs> it doesn't matter to me. You can. Are we into ten thousand dollar range or no, under? Okay, no, so we're under ten. No, so this is twenty seventeen. Okay, okay. I'll give you a little preview here. You ready? Yep. Okay. At one point, the front panel was drilled out for a lockdown bar or for a lock bar on the coin box. Okay. So there's two that's, holes. That's that are common. Empty. Yeah. Okay. It's common. Inserts lifting, a little bit. Uh, the mansion wear. Couple, yeah. Yeah. Okay. A couple little little mansion wear around the uh, the electricity, whatever. It's oh yeah, yeah. Um, the magnets. A couple yeah. couple chipped ramps. Couple chips out of the side of the cabinet. Uh, a couple dots missing on the display. Not okay. too many. Yeah, yeah. So, um, you ready? Seven grand. Oh, oh man. Yeah. That well, was my intro to pinball. You learned. You learned though. But I did. Seven grand. But, but you know what? I went through uh, the little things. I'm I'm <clears> kind of one of those OCD people where I'm like, that's yeah. not right. Something needs to be fixed there. Well, there's tons of parts available. That's the one plus yeah. for that game. You're not yeah. gonna. They better be. They made twenty thousand of them. There better well, be but parts with the popularity. Yeah, I mean, they're just everywhere. You can yeah. get decals and ramps and and overlays. Yeah, and, and and I went I went through it. I I I kept it for a while. Well, it was interesting when we bought our house. I told my wife because. In California, we had a really small house, lived in Southern California. Mm -hmm. You know, houses are small down there unless you're sitting on a gigantic wallet. Yeah. Um, so it would sit in my garage. You know, I wasn't too worried about, you know, heat, humidity and all that sort of stuff like I am now. Yeah. But so it would sit in the garage. It's a dry heat. Yeah, it's a dry yeah. heat. Yeah, I love um, it's that. It's still hot when it's 110 yeah. degrees. It's still hot. Yeah. Um, so this thing was sitting in the garage and I would go and play it. But there'd be times I'm like, okay, I got to get a fan. Or it'd be winter, you know, part of winter, and I'm like, I gotta get a space heater. Oh, and I'm yeah. like, to go play my pins. And I told my wife, we buy a house, I want a basement. Mm -hmm. That's my one thing. I want a basement, and I want a place to put my pinball machine. So we moved. We moved here. I built. I built this really super nice case. Um, we did the uh, like the pods thing. When oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. it was way cheaper. So I built this. Pods super, actually, yeah, way the, to go. The nicest 
case that went into anything. It was like the crate that they put the Ark in in Indiana Jones. Like, I had foam all around it. Yeah, top men. Yeah. So we, we, get it, uh, we get it here, and I set it up. And uh, we were in that transition period where we had just bought our house. You know, we had a little equity in our house in California. So Oh, know, yeah. We're de- Home prices there to here? God. <laughs> we're we're yeah. decorating the house. You know, we're doing this other stuff. And I'm like, I'm going to take a little of this money. I'm going to buy some arcade games. Yeah, might you know? as well. So started getting into arcade games. That was really my long intro into pinball. But yeah, we um, that's how I got into it. And then I just progressed into arcade games. And then I realized I was spending way more time playing pinball than I was the arcade games. Yeah. As much as I liked them. I, I love um, them. I, you know, still, I've got the one behind you there. That's one of the few. Was, play oh, Choice. Yeah, play Choice. Yeah, it's, it's yeah I remember that it's one. special. That's a good yeah. One. Yeah, yeah that was the one that people would fight over and line up at the arcade back in the day. You well, we always Mario said and... people had such trouble uh, navigating the menu on it. Yeah. That was always the problem. So that's why I kind of pulled it from Those are the, shortest the basement. The joysticks. Yeah, but they work. They work really you can well. Put them, you can put them in the palm of your hand. Yeah, like that. You know? I, I actually beat Mike Tyson the other day again. Really? Yeah, I, with those joy. He always joysticks. Gets me, man, I get to Tyson. Uh, I just sometimes mm-hmm. I don't even want to play because no, like, I skip Tyson's right to him. Take me down, man. Nope. I know it. I got. I'm not as good as I was 30 years ago uh, against him in '87. Could but... you get into a rhythm with if you had the stars built up? He will start. He'll get aware of them. Uh, so you got to be typically. You can't use a star really well until like round two. Uh, when you get him stunned so funny and you got to move quick to write it that way yeah you know back then. yeah you couldn't was mike tyson the first version of ai that was ever out there he had a couple no i think it was just <laughs> random number generator stuff but no did I, did I the real quick stupid story when i was a kid uh my buddy when punch out came out in october of 87 and um uh, my buddy told me you know when the code came out for mike tyson and everything yeah. that hey if you beat mike tyson his phone number will pop up on the screen and five dollars will come out of the back of your Nintendo. And I was like, What? And, <laughs> you know, like I don't know about the five bucks, but I'm like, wait, I can call Mike Tyson. Yeah, we were I'd like, be that kid. What? Like, I yeah. don't care about the five bucks. He was bucks. telling everybody at school that that you could call Mike Tyson if you beat him. It oh, would show his phone number. <laughs> so that's like the so secret dumb. code to get back. Yeah. You, you remember the hotline? Remember you could call the Nintendo yeah. hotline and get tips? That was that was one of my dream jobs. When I was a kid, I thought, because I thought, man, those guys are sitting there. You know they've got books or like, uh, you know, files and stuff sitting there. Because when you call them, yeah. they've got to be able to tell you what to do and, and everything. And I thought, you know, that's the job. You've got the books right there. You know everything about the games. and Looking at that from yeah. like a business model, you know oh, the best part killed. of that? It's like... Two ninety five a minute. Yeah, you know, minimum three you got minutes. Dumb kids and the guy's calling like, them. Hang on. Yeah, let, let me flip go to that. Get the book out yeah. of the back. You know, that next thing, thing is thirty minutes to get a code that will get you an extra life and something. Yeah, but yeah. I, I called it once. I I can't remember. There was something. It was a game we were playing. Uh, my dad was actually interested in, which was rare. And there was something we were stuck on, and he was like, "Call call that number. Let's oh, let's yeah. figure out what's going on." And yeah. you know, I, okay, for anybody not forty. There was no internet at that time. I did have Nintendo Power, but uh, and I've got them all stacked in there. By the way, oh, I got to check those out. Yeah, they're. I remember those. I've got. I actually. So I was a member of the Nintendo Fun Club, which I wasn't turned in the into club. Nintendo Power. So there was like four or five issues that did you came have the out glove? of that. No, did you have the Power Glove? No, my buddy did, and it sucked. So I never got it. It sucked, but yeah. you know what? I want. I want a Power Glove now. I just want to stick it some. I want to. St- there, is this part of your abuse <laughs> this story again? In the back room, I promise. Going on. I want to stick that in the basement somewhere, on the wall. Oh, you want a funny story about the yeah. Nintendo Power Club and yeah. the phone call? Yeah. All right, I'll give you this. In, in, yeah. Uh, in that same vein, um, so as a teenage boy, mm-hmm. you know, I'm calling the Nintendo Power Line. So and you did call would, it often. Yeah, I, I called it a couple times to get some tips or whatever, and the bill would show up. My dad would get really pissed off. Yeah. My dad has never heard this story, by the way, so if he watches this, this is will be Is he going to watch? Yeah, I'll get All right, him to well, address, it. Yeah, address him right there. So, dad, yeah. I'm sorry, but I'm going to tell you about this. <laughs> and I'd love to know if you knew about this. Revelations so, coming to light. It's about 12 or 13. I don't know if you remember. If you'd watch TV late at night, you get those commercials. Call now. Talk oh, to the ladies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know. You'd be like 12, watching Red Shoe Diaries on yeah, USA or something. Yeah, or, yeah. yeah. No, I'm, I'm just watching TV. Yeah. Uh, so, I'm, I'm watching uh, this commercial at some point, and I'm like, I'm thinking like, I wonder what this is all about. I wonder if this is really cool or not. I'm like, so I pick up the phone. So you called the ladies? I called the ladies uh. line at like 12 or 13. And it was so funny because I, 
I was on, and I was like staring at the clock, and I'm like, it's been four minutes. I'm like, oh, it's like twelve dollars. Yeah. I'm like, and I, I just tell the lady, I'm like, I gotta go, and I yeah. hang up the phone. <laughs> and then I start thinking, I'm like, oh my god, my dad's gonna get the phone bill back when you got the phone bill. Oh yeah, bill. my yeah. dad's gonna get the phone bill, and it's gonna show yeah what it says. So. For the next like three weeks, I check the mail every day when I get home. Oh, from you're school. gonna get it before you. I find the phone bill, and I take out I take out the phone bill. Yeah. And I just rip it up and throw it away. So the evidence is gone. <laughs> so it's it gone. is gone. And so, I go to my dad and yeah. I say, "Hey, dad, I just wanted to let you know. Um, I called the Nintendo Power Line and it spent about fifteen bucks. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you fifteen dollars. I said <laughs> I got some tips for one of my video games. So." Did you tell him what the actual bill amount was? I told him what the bill amount was, but he, so he, he still paid it, was, it. He still paid it. Okay, I gave him so it's not like you guys missed it. a payment because he forgot. No, or, no, no, no. I, yeah. I told him. I, I told so him. So you ripped it up. I ripped oh, it up. Oh, that is away. good. And because I was like, he's gonna see that, and I'm gonna get in so much trouble for calling the ladies' line. That's... He probably would have laughed about it, to be honest. Well, but... now let's hope he does. Yeah. Or else yeah. it's gonna be I, an awkward Thanksgiving. I, I hope so. Yeah. I have awkward things all the time. Are your parents? Where are they at? They they live Statesville. Statesville. Okay, so they're close. They're about yeah, twenty miles away okay so it's been yeah. nice i was away from them for a very long time in california well i'm hoping very soon I th- my parents are hitting uh retirement age so i'm hoping there's plans of them coming closer to yeah. my sister lives in huntersville so we're we're hoping to get everybody a little within yeah it's, it's an nice. hour of each other would be nice yeah we've been doing breakfast every other every I would other love weekend that. yeah like, that'd be i'll nice. go there or they'll come to our place well take him out for a special breakfast and i already gave him his money <laughs> well, but you get there's like retribution here or there something. Is, there yeah. is. Dad, I love you. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. That's if you didn't pay good. that bill on time, let me know yeah. how much it costs. Yeah, what interest that. from ninety two are we so we're talking twenty eight years of interest. Oh uh, yeah. So uh They probably knew. <laughs> I, I'm gonna go. They probably knew. They, they were like, well, well you're a parent now. You know, you know what they're up to, oh, right? There's, man. there's always that secret. Like, you know what they're thinking. Oh, they man. were always on to you, right? My, yeah, it's, they, they know. My, and the best is when your, your kids try and like hide stuff from you and yeah. be sneaky, and you just bust them. You catch them red handed. It's such a good moment. <laughs> you're like, I was you. Like, yeah. get out of the snack cabinet. <laughs> what do you have? You're like, how'd you know I was like, in you're there? The worst ninja ever. <laughs> Cruddy ninja kids. <laughs> Yeah, Craig's Cruddy Ninja Kids. We could there start like a I yeah. Want t-shirts. A, well, it's against the Ninja Turtles. Like they're uh, terrible, like Ninja Kids. No, I don't know your. We kids. need t-shirts. Well, I, I met your. Well, I didn't really meet them. I saw them at the. My uh, my daughter tournament. probably got really sassy and told you that she wasn't happy about where she placed in the tournament. And where did she place? My son was arguing with my wife about they tied for fifth. So my daughter, my fifth? daughter, actually, really? Yeah, they tied wow. for fifth. I got twelve. I got clean. I got cleaned out. I, down on I that. finished half a point I don't ahead know what of you. Happened. I finished, finished half, a half a point ahead, ahead of, of me. Of yeah. Yeah. I, I, I tied for 12. I had 13 and a half points. I think you had 13. We're still working with my son on, you know, what's funny. My wife and my kid are super competitive. Yeah. yeah. They are super like my son, my <clears> son's <throat> competitive and I see it. My wife is really calm. She just and gets mellow. a game face. She was dropping f bombs in front of Troy, what? talking about she had to play Star Wars three times and she got smoked. I hate and I that was randomness. So yeah. hard because she was just like she was so heated about it. And Troy's laughing, <laughs> and I'm like, "Tell her what you think, Troy." I'm over there egging him on, like, "Tell her what you think, man. Give her the." Truth. I hate that randomness in those tournaments, though. I don't know why it does. I wish it would take that into consideration a little more often that you've already played this game because yeah. I got AFM twice. Which is okay. Um, oh, I, I did find AFM. both games, but but that one's always just a crapshoot for me. I can do you know a billion, or I'm you know at two hundred million. Yeah, I, I had an awesome game on Turtles. I had an awesome game. Oh, my first game. I, I had a great game on Turtles, and then I walked over and Game of Thrones just sucked all the wind out of my sails. Turtles. I think I got two million on Turtles. I two could mi- not hit a ramp shot. It was like this mental block. I couldn't yeah. hit anything. Yeah, like, I was I was excited to play. It's the first time I ever played. Oh yeah, it's yeah. it's. I was pumped. I was like, yeah, my first tournament ever. It's like, brutal. You know, I just put up like a ten million or twelve million. That's like, not yeah. bad. That's really not I'm bad like, for I got turtles. This. this is good. Yeah. And then my wife and my son both beat me. And but I for spent for turtles, ten playing. million, I think, because it's got the competition or the not the competition, the co-op, co- mode. co-op mode. We did that co-op mode one night uh, before Troy is had it taken fun? it over. It is, but we sucked so bad i think it was a four-player game and we had like 25 million it was like four of us 
with three balls each. That's when you just post the score and hope it doesn't say co-op. Be like, I just oh, scored no, $25 it, we, million on But turtles. we did get like Grand Champion a co-op, but it was still just like $25 million for four people playing three balls. You know, you Terrible. know the, the most amazing record I've seen so far ever since I started playing pinball? What? Is my five-year-old daughter set the Reactor 1 speedrun champion on Total Nuclear Annihilation. Really? That is impressive. At nine seconds. How, how, how did she do that? I have no idea. Just flailing? I have no idea. And she just, she just she put one letter in. She just put a letter in. I don't even know if it's part of her name. She just put a letter in and walked away. Wow. She's like, I'm the speedrun champion. And I'm yeah. like, nobody's going to beat that. No idea how that happened. So it left the house with that still on it? It did leave the house with that still on it. <laughs> what was your best for, for the first reactor? Uh, 10 seconds? I might have, yeah, I might have done like a 14 get or close. 18 seconds. Yeah. That was like everything has to line up perfectly. So we have to, is that, you've got to get the drop targets down to get to the reactor? I played it you gotta, once. You've got to hit the, the targets, yeah. uh, the three targets, and then you've got to get it in the scoop, which shoots the ball out like a rocket. Yeah. Get it in the scoop, it comes back out, then you got to hit it up around into that upper play field area. Uh, and then you need to basically build up the reactor power wow. uh, before you explode it. Nine I'm seconds? Like, all, all it I took can you think longer is she was staring the other way, and, it, and, it, yeah. I know. and the ball came out and did everything for her, and then she's just like, yeah, I'm done. You're never going to beat that. So for Spooky, I know yeah. this is not in your notes, so sorry. Uh, I'm adding this. Oh, we're way off of that at this yeah. point. Well, we, we did the first two, but these are really good notes, by the way. Uh, so for Spooky, did you ever, in a home environment, you didn't have real issues build quality-wise or anything, right? No, and, and I've had some people say to me, like when I was thinking about getting an and I'm going to call it TNA, but I yeah, I referenced easier. total nuclear annihilation yeah. when I was talking about my daughter to be appropriate here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So with, oh, with, that is a good point. Yeah. I say that all the time. I'm like, oh man, I just love TNA. And people are like, what are you talking about? I'm like, no, 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 it's a pinball machine. Like, yeah. Like, I'm there. I'm good. <laughs> um, so I didn't have a lot of build quality issues. Yeah. I did the dumbest thing though with that. Once. What? What'd you do? It, as you slide out the play field. Yeah. It's on the rails where it slides. Well, I guess the notch and the one that I had wasn't that big, oh, it and dropped. I pulled it out, and I was I was like, okay, no, 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 it should come out a little bit further. I need to get in the back of the cabinet. Pulled it out, and luckily it was like a hard metal bracket, and it yeah. landed on top of that box in the bottom. Mm. And I was like, oh my god, I'm sorry, I'm banging around on the table. No, it's fine. Um, it's fine. Yeah, it, and it fell watches. down, and I like yeah. it was like. If a bomb had gone off, I probably would have reacted just as fast. I was yeah. like, ah, ran around. I'm literally holding this play field up, like pure adrenaline, and I'm just thinking, like, I just broke everything on the bottom. Uh, it's a it's a horrible it was, feeling. It, yeah. Oh. Well, the newer Sterns don't have that that stop at the end anymore. I think they put them back again by the time we got to this. Yeah. But yeah, there was a couple there early. You think, am I there spike yet, or two? Is this the first notch? It'll and just slide right it, out. And it was like, bam. Yeah, I dropped one. Uh, Troy dropped. Uh, Hopefully this isn't, he doesn't have it anymore. So hopefully this isn't telling you. Nothing see. happened. Yeah. Uh, Batman 66, he dropped Batman 66 down. Uh, it busted the subwoofer speaker. Oh. Uh, but that was the only damage. It yeah. didn't hurt the play field or anything, but it's a horrible feeling. Yeah. So Spooky's doing the the same thing with no this, notching. And this, this was the, this was TNA. So this was probably, when did that come out? It was like 2017, yeah. 2017. So about yeah. when you I got into things, huh? Prob- and it might be my own stupidity because yeah. it, it feels a lot different than the Stern games and the JJP games as far as where that notch is. Yeah. And I just yanked it right over that. I, mm. Maybe it was hung up a little, but um, I never had any issues with the well, rest of it. it was, that's good, It, it then. was beautiful. Well, I've, yeah, and I've heard I different want things. And Morty. I, I just can't. I was. I want the call outs. That's that, it. Yeah. I just want to sit around and listen to call outs. Well, I was going for one. I. I withdrew my name from consideration, but there was one in Knoxville uh, last week, and he... Is that the one where he wanted to trade the Walking Dead Pro? and He wanted a Wonka or something, and I was like, hey, I've got a Wonka sitting in an arcade that's not being played. I could... Uh, no, I... I knew, and Wonka does well, we've we've said before, it yeah. really does well. I don't care for it personally, but it does, and if we ever get into phase three in North Carolina, then I'm I so think we can open. I'm so lost on We're in two Australia and a half right now. Australia does backwards. Yeah, so they're I'm doing, like, they're counting I'm down. I'm like, are, are we all yeah. dying, or are we going back to work? Yeah. I don't know. Kids but in school yet? <laughs> Wonka earns well, and it was yeah. like, man, and I was going to have to throw a bunch of money at it, and then... I was like I can't I can't put this thing out on a route. Uh, it's so yeah. I withdrew yeah. from consideration. Uh, yeah. But I thought about it. I saw that and I'm like I have a walk. I bet there I was a bunch of people Dead, that were though. thinking it. I love it. 
And I'm like, I would have one again. I'm I have in it, on the call yeah. outs on Rick and Morty. Yeah. And the gameplay, I like T- TNA was fun. Um, I think there's a lot more going on in Rick and Morty, but the prices. I think I, I would get bored with it. I, yeah, I, I, the prices I just can't justify it. I'm like, I could sell the walk, I could trade the Walking Dead, and I'm still probably going to come out of pocket f- five grand just to get a Rick and Morty. And, yeah. You know, maybe I like the gameplay, maybe I don't, but the callouts are beautiful. There's oh no yeah, denying, Justin hilarious. Justin Roiland did all yeah. those custom ones, but yeah, I, I've watched a few. What was that? Uh, the guy that's really good, uh, similar look style in quality as your stream ie pinball or uh oh um he's i i can't remember where he he might be part of that uh yeah, from california he, he did a stream on didn't he did he a fantastic on one uh and watching him play it as good as he is yeah. i was like i'm never gonna get to that yeah, stuff i'm were, never gonna see that stuff yeah i i'm I, I like games when they're dialed in like if there's a shot that it's like okay this is your one in a hundred shot yeah and, and it's crucial to the game those things bug me i haven't played rick and morty so i don't know i won't know until i play it uh, but i i just think you know at, at the the people were trying to i mean people were selling their spots for oh yeah thousand dollars well that was kind of for the game and i'm like that was a little bit cruddy how that was handled that that kind of put me off i i honestly let me look in the camera here i have no problem with spooky i have a spooky shirt i almost got a rob zombie until i saw how terrible it was and i canceled so thank god for that but i I do like rob zombie is it i was so in and it was like this game's not good but i do like spooky i'm not against them at all i just am not going to put one in a location not yeah. yet. I've heard too many stories about everything, but yeah, the the Rick and Morty. Ugh, they're I don't... scaling up. I think they're scaling up, and I th- I think they're going to keep making new games, and you know they're doing you, great, got, and I like that they're doing it too. Bone Bone Cairns is on code, I think for yes, a lot of the spooky for Rick games. he is yeah, for Rick he, and Morty. He's an but... amazing coder, and you have like Scott Denisi who's really kind of finding finding his you know his his niche, kind of like Keith Elwin's finding what he yeah. his style and. Well, I, I just I don't mean, like the worship for Scott that he's like, I, I, I mean, he's done, you know, the TNA design was really yeah. good, uh, but I just don't like that. He's just, it's anything he does. They're just, you know, like, I, I think if you saw him People at a convention, they would. Keith Elwin too. Keith Elwin, but Keith Elwin's. I know. Keith Elwin. I know. Keith I Elwin, Iron Maiden. I mean, and I'm we're going to see on Avengers, kid. but. His, his layouts, uh, Keith Elwin's uh, layouts have been amazing. I've, I've, I totally appreciate it. And, and they're new and they're fresh. Yeah. Um, but when, when I went to go buy my Iron Maiden or actually the first time I ever played Iron Maiden was in New York city. Yeah. And it was one of the games. The minute I played it, I was like, I gotta have this. Yeah. Same thought for me when I played it at the show. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, this is, I've, I've got to have this. So I, I played that and I was talking to, uh, there was a a girl there who was a regular at, this was at modern pinball in New York city. Oh, okay. And they just closed. Yeah, I know. It's happening all over the place. So she said, I was talking to her. I was like, Hey, do you like this game? What do you like about it? What What do you not like? You know, does it get old? You know, so I was just picking her brain because she yeah. was playing it, throwing up some big scores, and that's one of the things she said. She said, "Oh, it's a great game, but you wonder if you know everybody is really behind Keith Elwin, like he's such an amazing." And she goes, "I don't know if part of the allure with that game is is Keith as a player, yeah. um, you know, and it being one of his first games. If everybody's kind of jumping on that, or or if it's because the game is great. For me, the game's it's a great game." I mean, he he nailed it, and I think Jurassic Park. You know, we all know Jurassic Park was oh. is a juggernaut. I mean, the game was awesome. It's yeah, um, and I'm sure I can't Avengers get sick of it is going to be even better. I, I mean, hope so. I yeah. really do. Yeah, and and but circling back, I I, I like Spooky. I want everybody to succeed. Yeah. And there's a bunch of Jersey Jack games I don't care for, but again, I like. I hope we don't hit that market saturation. I, I like that there's variety and you can pick and choose. But the the pre-order thing for Rick and Morty was total, total crap. Those were gone the first day. Well, the fact that it was like, well, we're going to give you time. Oh, wait, you know what? We're selling them now. And then, and oh, then wait. And distributed. Distributors yeah. got some of them too, I think. And then they're like, oh, well, you got to you gotta join our fan club. To, yeah. we're, you're already paying $7,000 for a game, but you've got to join our our yearly fan club, yeah. Fang Club. But And that's fine too, but they didn't tell in, everybody. In my brain, I'm that guy. I'm like, okay. All right, cool. I'll join the fan club. Yeah, but I'm going to join the fan club, but it's going to take me 20 minutes to join the fan club. In the back of my mind, I'm like, I'm going to lose out on this machine. Yeah, and then they were doing like, okay, well, you can get a spot as long as you join the fan club by tomorrow. And they were doing that type of crap, yeah. and that, there were so many backroom deals and what the distributors had, which what yeah. they didn't, and it was like, I'm like, I, I was wanna... interested, but it's like, I'm out. 
um, when I'm going to part with money, especially, you know, upwards of six, seven thousand dollars for something yeah. that's a little more rare. I want to part with money. I want to be able to call somebody and get it. Yeah. I don't want to have to jump through a bunch of hoops and then worry about. And then if I can't get it, then I've got to pay somebody extra money to get it. I mean, to me, that kind of takes away. Well, you get into fear of in missing time. out, too. Yeah. That's what drives it. And it almost I, I, I equate the Rick and Morty pre-order to the Batman 66 thing yeah. of, hey, beg me for a game. Tell me why I should give you a game. And it's like, no, I'm not. Yeah. Send me a video. It's like, no, this yeah. is not a tryout for America's Got Talent or yeah. uh, America's Funniest Home Videos. It's, hey, I've got money right here. Do you I'm like, want don't it? Don't make me think about buying this brand yeah. new game or maybe go and buying two older games that I really like. Cause, yeah. But, you know. and again, I like spooky. Don't, yeah. I actually have uh, next, uh, next record session. Like there. This is a hooked on pinball shirt. I have a spooky shirt. I will. I will wear it. I like them. I like Charlie. I like all those people. But I like. I like. I tell you, the sound in that TNA machine. Oh, that was a blew me away. Yeah, that I was played amazing. it. Amazing. I wish everybody would put systems in like that. Yeah, it was well it done. Was, I've heard was, issues of how it's uh, atta- the amp is attached on some of them wasn't mm-hmm. great, but I played it. I guess in 2017 when you were just getting into things, I was on a business trip uh, in Wisconsin, and uh, what's the guy's name on uh, Why Snow on mm. uh, the other site? I'm losing. I'm getting old, man. Oh. I can't. Well, he. I think he <laughs> operates some games. So he had. A, I got to play Alien that day. He had an oh, Alien. I played Alien. And he had TNA. Oh, Alien's a bore fest. Yeah. I, I said it on a. I, I've episodes. just played it because I'm like, I'll probably will never see this again in the wild. It's a bore so fest. I'm play it. Yeah. It's dark. It it was confusing. It, it was boring. Yeah. yeah. It needs some of the Craig Playfield lights. But yeah, let's Playfield. see, where are we at? Oh my God. Uh <laughs> I'm a chatty Kathy. I, Sorry. Well, yeah, like I'm not. Uh let's uh I think we had discussed this before. Let's stop here. Uh this we have gone forty six minutes or oh, so. Oh man. So yeah, let's it's my fault. Sorry. Oh I think we're both at fault here. There's <laughs> nowhere well, actually there's nobody to blame. But let's uh let's stop here. We're gonna We'll actually make it a two-parter, which really Perfect. doesn't matter. But let's stop here. And again, thank you, uh, Craig, who has come over thank graciously. You for having me. Yes, uh, it's been a wonderful experience so far, and we're going to continue it. Uh, and again, everybody, thank you for watching. I'll have links in the description for how to listen to the podcast. And again, this is a simulcast. I've had a lot of confusion over. This is the video portion if you just wanted to see my face or Craig's face or whoever's over on that side. Um, but yeah, I'll put links in the description for the audio portions and for his channel and for whatever else uh, that we need to put in there. So thanks for watching and we will see you again real soon.